What's going on YouTube? This is Ribo at the bench again today and this time I've got another cut or carry knife review. Uh, this one's kind of a fun one. So this is the K-Bar Space Force. I believe this is called the Courser. Uh, so K-Bar a while back released uh, a Space Force line which is kind of funny and interesting. Um, and this was the folder that came with it. So it, it I believe also had a kind of a classic K-Bar fixed blade um, and then something else. There was some other kind of uh, tool or something that they released. But anyway, um, all of them kind of featured this coated blade, which you can see this is, I know it's gray, but this is actually a coated blade there. You can kind of see, um, as well as this uh, space blue or baby blue type handle with this very interesting uh, pattern, which is pretty cool. Um, I honestly picked this up uh, on a whim just because I thought that the uh, the whole Space Force thing was was pretty funny um, and so it was like one of those knives just like ah, you got to pick up a Space Force knife like I mean you know you just have to right um, so I did um, I picked this up a while ago I think early this year and honestly I meant for it to be just kind of a quick review um, and it's just been sitting in my box and and in my pocket on occasion and I just keep forgetting to do a review. So I thought, I thought uh, I'll finally, finally do that today. So um, let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison and we'll get into it. Um, obviously the, the real size comparison, the natural selection is gonna be the classic K-Bar Dozier, um, which I have here. And I think in a lot of ways, there, uh, there's a lot of similarities between these two um, for obvious reasons and maybe, maybe not so obvious. Um, so I'll, I'll probably draw a lot of comparisons here. Um, also figure, go ahead and throw up the Buck 110 um, just to, to get, you know, kind of a size comparison. I think these three knives are, are in a lot of ways pretty similar. Um, and this one size wise is kind of right between those two. So it's definitely larger than the Dozier, uh, but a little bit smaller than the Buck 110. And in case you don't have either of those knives, the classic Delica, this is the Salt 2 version, but it's the same size and everything. So uh, hopefully that gives you a good uh, idea on the size. All right, let's talk about things that I like and dislike. Um, so things that I like. Uh, so the biggest thing that I like about this knife, honestly, is that it is almost a, a direct uh, progressive iteration of the Dozier. Um, and so I'll run through a couple, a couple ways, but in a lot of ways, the things that I like about this knife are the same things that I like about the Dozier. Um, but there are actually some, some improvements made to this one. Um, and so I want to run through those really quick. Um, first of all, this is a lockback knife, which is a nice thing about the Dozier. Uh, it has a very nice thumb stud action here. I, I think um, just about on par with the Dozier. I think maybe even a little bit better just because it is a bigger knife um, and I do find it easier to open. Uh, no issues closing it. A little bit of uh, kind of lock stick or, or something there, but uh, I think that'll probably break in. Um, but the opening and closing action is really surprisingly nice uh, for a knife like this. Kind of a gimmicky, um, gimmicky knife here, but the, the action is actually really, really nice, and, and I like that a lot. Um, also, the, the handle material, while I believe it's the same uh, material, and, and I think that this is kind of this gimmicky pattern, I love this pattern. Um, this is really, really nice in the hand. It is textured without being kind of annoyingly or aggressively so. Um, it is an aggressive texture, but it doesn't feel bad. It actually feels really, really good in the hands. Um, you can see it is a fairly random pattern here. So uh, while you do have kind of more of a uniform pattern on this, um, which does provide nice traction, um, this, which I've just kind of, I don't, I, I'm sure they have a name for it. I, I should have looked that up, but um, it's kind of this like moon pattern or something. I, I don't know what you would call this, but um, super random, um, which I know like on manufactured stuff, random is, is difficult to do. So it's actually a really, really nice job uh, with, with that pattern. Um, but it feels great in the hands and it gives a ton of texture. Plus it's just, it's different. It's new and I think it looks really cool. Uh, so it's kind of this pebble pattern um, and I, I really like it. Um, additionally, you can see that there is some palm swell here. Um, so if you look at this here, and I'll just show the, the Dozier up aside, you can see that it's actually got some, some contouring on the handle, which is 
something I really did not expect. I couldn't really tell in the pictures um, and was pleasantly surprised. And it does, it does really add quite a bit in the hand. Um, you know, now people may look at that negatively in terms of like in the pocket or whatever, and that there's probably a sleekness with this one that, that you don't have with the, uh, the Courser here. Um, but I, I actually really, really love the palm swell. I think it's a nice little subtle addition, um, a nice little detail, especially for a $30 knife. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, other things uh, that are nice about this knife and, and maybe an improvement on the old Dozier, um, just little little signs of quality. So let me show, I can't really, I guess I can't really show without taking this out, um, but none of the, uh, None of the screw threads here are, um, they're not threaded. Uh, so if you look at the pocket clip here, you can see that there are actually threaded inserts on that. Um, it's not just plastic, which a lot of times on a cheap knife like this, um, you're just gonna have plastic threads. Um, this is not, and, and it's a, a small detail that, that doesn't add a ton, um, but it is really, really nice, and I think it's a, a pretty good sign of quality for a knife of this uh, price range. Um, and so that, that's definitely a really cool thing to see, um, especially on a $30 K-Bar. Um, other things that I like, uh, so I think that the Tonto is a pretty cool thing for this. I don't know necessarily that it makes a ton of sense specifically on a Space Force knife. I, I don't quite get that besides maybe the aesthetics. Um, but uh, a Tonto blade is pretty cool. Um, I've, I've started to come around to Tontos more and more um, over the past, I'd say, year probably. And I'm, I'm actually using them more and more. Um, I will have some things to say about this one in particular, but um, kind of cool to see a different blade configuration. I think it would be cool to, to see a Tonto blade offered on the Dozier um, and, and potentially some other, other blades on that um, besides the two that, that you can get today. Um, but but a pretty pretty nice uh, pretty nice version of a Tonto for this type of thing. Um, other things that I like so the blade coating while maybe not my color I could see this in like a black blade I, I think that would have looked kind of cool. Um, but I, I think the blade coating itself is pretty nice. Now I haven't used this knife a ton. Um, I have carried it quite a bit. I've you know used it occasionally. Um, I have not had any issues so far. Um, I, I do expect that it will wear similar to this uh, this Dozier blade coating. But honestly, I've been somewhat happy with with the Dozier blade coating, especially for the price. Um, and that's a big qualifier. But I mean, you know, you kind of get what you pay for with a thirty dollar blade. Um, but I've been fairly happy with the, the Dozier coating. Um, you, you're going to get chips and, and whatnot, but um, you know that that's kind of to be expected. Um, other things that I like, I mentioned the nice action already. Um, so uh, you know, no no issues there. Uh, I really like the action again, especially for the price. Um, I, I do think that there is a slight improvement on the pocket clip while it's still essentially the same clip. Um, this this one, the ramp seems a little bit higher um, and I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have quite as many issues with it. Uh, you, you will also see it's a single single screw here versus three. Uh, no, no difference there to me. Um, I do find this one works slightly better, um, but you know I've never been, this, the pocket clip on the Dozier has always been to me the, the one uh, glaring drawback. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't mind this too much. Uh, it, it's still kind of annoying. You, you're coming down right on that, that texture right there. It's a little bit difficult. I think this ramp is slightly higher, which means it's a little bit easier to get in and out of my pocket. Um, still not the best clip. Um, but again, it's a, you know, $30 knife. Um, other things, uh, ergonomics, I, I mentioned this with the, the palm swell, but I, this knife is really, really ergonomic, uh, at least in my hands. Uh, I have a larger hands. Um, this is a little bit of a larger knife, but you have uh, this kind of half finger choil up here, um, and you can kind of see that that handle slopes down gently. And it actually, it, it, it really works very well in my hand. Um, and uh, that, that was one of the things that, that I was really surprised by with this knife. I mean, one of the things with the Dozier is like the, the, uh, the, the handle here is, is so plain that I think it works for a lot of people and, and certainly works for my hands fairly, fairly well. Um, this one is not plain at all. This one actually adds a lot of the contouring, which can be really hit or miss. But for me, for, my, for me personally, uh, in my hands, this is a, uh, this is a hit. Um, and so I, I thought that the ergos were really, really good. 
Um, other things, uh, the Space Force theme is, is just cool. I think it's, it's kind of dumb, but it's awesome at the same time, which is kind of the knife hobby in general. So uh, I, I like that. All right, uh, and quickly, uh, let's do things that I dislike. Uh, so really just a couple things. Um, so the Tonto, while I, I like the blade shape in general, um, I do think that uh, it, it's a little bit overdone here. Um, it's, it's really too long, in my opinion, to be a, a practical, practically useful Tonto to me. Um, the Tontos that I've, I've been carrying tend toward the smaller side. This one is really long and thin, um, and while it can be useful, and it, the benefit of that is you can just make slicing cuts with this, um, I've found that like for the stuff that I'm usually using a knife for, it, the blade is just a little bit overdone. Like it makes sense because you have a larger handle and stuff, um, but it's just it's a big knife, and uh, practically for like everyday use, it's just a little bit much for me, especially with the Tonto. Um, so kind of is what it is, but, um, minor, minor critique, but kind of, you know, there you go. Um, other things I dislike, um, overall aesthetically, like it's a little bit weird to me. I love the handles. Um, I like the blade coating, like I like it all separately. Um, this like really straight and, and angular Tonto blade mixed with the curvature of the handle doesn't quite do it for me it's a little bit weird it doesn't look terrible but it's just it's funky which i think is is probably part of the appeal so not a big deal but um you know one thing to consider um and then the only other thing that i really dislike about this knife is uh the pocket clip which you probably have guessed k-bar really could could improve their their budget folders uh tremendously by by just getting a better pocket clip um there are companies doing it for the same price it would not be difficult there's a lot of other details that are that are right on this guy like the threaded inserts there um but the uh, the pocket clip just doesn't doesn't do it for me um so um so cut or carry on this surprisingly it's a carry i mean it's it's not a knife i'm gonna I don't know. I don't think it's a knife I'm going to keep around, but it's a carry um, because it's a knife that I would carry. It's a knife that I would use. It's a knife that I think is uh, is 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 really high quality for the price. And, and in my opinion, the most exciting thing about this knife is that it is an iteration of the Dozier. Um, at least I hope it is. I hope that what this shows is that if they come out with a new Dozier, um, it'll have some of these little quality improvements. Um, I think either way, it is just an iteration of a great budget folder. Um, it's done in this gimmicky way, like the Space Force thing. But when you get past that kind of gimmick, there's actually a lot of goodness here and a lot of really exciting things. So I was really excited for this, especially for 30 bucks. Um, it, uh, it, it, it sure delivered for me, at least. It's not going to be for everybody. I don't even know if it's going to be for me long term. Um, but I think it's very, very well done for what it is. Um, and, and I really hope that this pattern handle thing comes back because I, that this may be my favorite thing about the knife, um, in looks and utility. I think it's just really, really cool and it could work in, in a lot of different colors and a lot of different ways. Um, you could do just targeted patterns with this and certain things. The palm swell could work in a lot of knives. Um, so I think there's a lot of really cool, um, kind of, uh, um, I don't know, ideation in this knife uh, that, that I hope we get to see other places. Anyway, uh, carry for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.